Every Friday morning we go in depth with the Target 12 investigators and Tim White is with us this morning with updates on the Rhode Island new cannabis legalization law. So Tim, you guys reported this week that the process is getting started to expunge tens of thousands right. of marijuana possession charges now that the drug is legal. Yeah, you're right, Kate. When Rhode Island legalized marijuana last May, the, the law included automatic expungement of marijuana possession convictions and the courts are now starting that process. So the Chief Justice of the Rhode Island Supreme Court, Paul Sattel, on Friday issued an executive order giving courts three months to expunge marijuana possession cases where that was the only crime charged in the case. That means those convictions will be wiped from public record by the end of April. In cases where there are multiple charges, it'll be a little more complicated to extract just the possession convictions. The courts are being given until July of 2024 to expunge the charges in those cases. And so do we know roughly how many people will be impacted by this? Well, we've asked the courts for an updated number, but we haven't heard back just yet. But last year, when this legislation was being debated, the courts estimated about 27,000 cases where marijuana possession was the only charge in tens of thousands of more where possession was one of multiple charges. So that, that's a lot of people. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. So what's the next step in implementing the new cannabis law? Well, as you know, the existing medical marijuana dispensaries were allowed to start selling recreational can cannabis on December 1st. That acted as a, a bridge of sorts until this new system is set up. What we're waiting for is the new Cannabis Control Commission to be created, which will make the rules for more businesses to be licensed. And they also will be required to issue what's called social equity licenses, allowing people who have been harmed by the prohibition of marijuana to be part of the industry. Governor Dan McKee has to nominate the three members of the commission and has not yet done so. Here's what he told our Kim Kalunian about the timing on 12 News at 4 last month. So we've been meeting with the Senate president who will, we've got um, names from the House Speaker, right? And we're reviewing them mm -hmm. and then we'll get something to, something to the, uh, to the Senate you know, for their consent uh, before the end of the month. And we're making progress on that. No, no names yet, but uh, we're making progress. So look, it's February. The governor did not uh, give those picks to the Senate by the end of the month. His office says they are conducting background checks on potential candidates, but did not give an updated timeline on when the commissioners might be named. All right, Target 12 investigator Tim White, thanks for joining us. Thank you.